Okay, in this video I'm just going to do a short discussion on uh, raw stone. This is a piece of raw alabates. It's agatized dolomite uh, that I received from a friend of mine named Manny. Uh, uh, anyone who sends me stone is a friend of mine, so <laughs> uh, thank you very much for this piece. I get, this was a lot bigger when I first got it. Uh, it had a natural seam in it, so I went ahead and I hit it, and it cracked along the natural seam and here's the new break here so I had two pieces and I, last night I napped an arrowhead out of this piece that came from the side here now uh, this this type of raw stone is kind of unpredictable alabates is unpredictable sometimes it can be good sometimes it's really tough to work with uh, there was various issues with the stone. Some of it was uh, difficult to nap through. It was kind of grainy like right here. This area here, this it was kind of grainy so that was difficult. Then there was some quartz pockets in this area here along with some graininess. So I ended up with a narrow point okay and I had to do a lot of uh, damage control on it and I I had a really bad step fracture on this side that I managed to work out to some extent still a little bit there anyway this is like a large scalorn point I was going for a different type now I'm going to do another video with more of this alabates I'm going to heat treat some of it and I'm going to work some of it raw. But I just want to discuss uh, when working slabs, a lot of rare material like this is best to slab out before working it. But a lot of guys have trouble working slabs, like myself. I, I don't like working slabs um, because it's really thin in the middle and usually pretty wide, and that lends to a lot of snapping across the center. Okay? So I, I kind of made a chart here on what I think the proportions are, or what are good proportions for working with stone like this in a slab form. Uh, you don't want it too wide because you're going to set yourself up for failure in, in a lot of cases. Um, I may break this down into smaller chunks just because it does have some issues, it does have some difficult spots to work with. This started out pretty wide, I think it was an inch and a half and now it's down to about seven eighths okay and this slab is three eighths inch thick which is pretty good for slabs but um, if it's tough material it's very difficult you kinda want a three to one with the thickness ratio and very difficult material is about ten percent of what you'll find out there for nappable stone if it's nappable uh, 10% of it will be this very difficult stuff. Okay, let me just show the whole chart here. Um, it, most of your stone will fall into this difficult range here, and the preforms or the slab proportions, the uh, width to thickness ratios on your little pieces of slab, you know, like this, uh, should follow these recommendations. These are my recommendations. I, I'm not sure if these are posted somewhere else. Something similar to this or is posted in an, another forum or somewhere else. This is just what I came up with. This is not from anywhere else. And uh, if this matches someone else's, uh, I apologize. I'm not copying you. I just kind of came up with this on the fly. All right. So uh, good material. You can get as thin as a five to one ratio and still be able to work it in slab form pretty easily um, but good material is only like 10 percent of what you'll find in the nappable stone a very good material you can slab it out to six to one ratio uh, but only five percent of nappable stone in a raw state is this very good material so if you obtain slabs that have a ratio of like six to one uh, like a quarter inch uh, thick by inch and a half wide it's going to have to be extremely good stone to be able to work it with those pr proportions 
Now this elevates falls in this area here, the difficult and sometimes very difficult areas. Okay, so you can't have a slab that's too wide for its thickness uh, and be assured of success, in my opinion. Now heat treating changes all this stuff here. Um, heat treating is a different animal altogether. You can heat treat elevates and make it much easier to work, but you're still going to have some areas that are just not cooperative, that doesn't that don't respond to heat treating. Alright? So you gotta keep that in mind too with this material. Now this is some of the most beautiful rock you can work, this elevate stuff. And it's getting kind of rare and expensive. Let's see if I can show some of the translucency. It's really nice once you get it worked. But it can be challenging. So that's why I made that chart, just to show you guys, uh, the, one, the guys that have the slab cutters, uh, just keep that in mind. Um, okay, so this one here in the finished state is 4 to 1 thickness, uh, width to thickness ratio, in the finished state. Uh, so a preform would be thicker, would be like 3 to 1, okay? So this particular piece was very difficult for me to work. So again, preform, this is preform ratios. Uh, once you finish it, it'll jump up to probably one more stage, you know. And the preform stage is three to one, you finish it out, it'll probably be, probably be four to one. Uh, and if you start with five to one, it'll be six to one. And six to one, it'll be, you know, thinner than that. And uh, again, heat treating, helps. I'll heat treat some of this stuff, it will help. Uh, this particular arrowhead weighs 104 grains and just to give you some ideas on the dimensions it's uh, 2 and 7 eighths by 7 eighths. So as long as your state allows barbs you could use this for hunting. But as you can see, it's kind of lumpy and wavy, because I had to be very aggressive to get this thing thinned down, and uh, I didn't peck the edges very much because I wanted to preserve the width. Okay. All right. So I'll nap some of this in an upcoming video. I just wanted to go over the uh, proportions and. Uh, issues with slabs, that sort of thing. Okay.